It's a gorgeous Saturday. It's like 65 degrees, something like that. What is it in here? Almost 60. A little over 60. Um, <clears throat> I got a big mess in my shop. I got lots of parts laying everywhere. I've been doing some other stuff, you know. Can't be uh, all Chevy all the time. Sometimes it's got to be remodel a bedroom kind of thing. You know, life. So, I've been doing some of that life stuff. But I'm going to today, i got to unload my truck and trailer with some non-auto related stuff. And then I'm going to get to work and try to put that motor together as much as I can. I still got to pull the pan. I'm going to put a new rear main in it. And uh, probably oil pump. And then put it together. All right, we finally got our other stuff done. Or mostly done. Or done enough. Now we need to go to work on this big block. This big block shit right here. What we need to do next is pull the oil pan. And then uh, go from there. Once we get the oil pan out, see what we see. I think I gotta knock one lifter out that's being a little stubborn. All the rest of them came out with my fingers. But we need to clean it up, start putting it together. All right? All right. All right, I pulled the pan and here's what I see. Uh, this thing's been apart before, I think. I thought it was just a low mile motor, but maybe not. Engine, engine, oh my gosh, I said the wrong word. See there, the pickup's been tack welded in place. And then I see on the rods, they've been numbered. I don't think they do that from the factory. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put a rear main seal in it. This isn't the best position to do it, but it's better than doing it in the car or in the truck, so. I'm going to go and do it. I'm going to drop that oil pump. I'll probably reuse the oil pump. I may take it apart and just look at it. It had good oil pressure. No use reinventing the wheel, you know. And I need to knock that one lifter out. And then we start putting her together. Alright, I'm laying up under here. And I've rolled the top half of the rear main seal out. That was pretty easy. I just took a punch and tapped it gently without messing up the crank. And uh, once it come out this side a little bit, I hooked it with a pair of pliers and pulled it out the rest of the way. Now I'm going to push the new one back up in there and uh, begin assembly. Don't the crank look pretty? What? What? Alright, I pulled the oil pump apart. I don't see any reason to replace it. It looks good. I do have a new one right there, but I don't have a pickup for it. So I'm just going to clean this up, put it back together, put a new gasket on it, run it. And uh, my helper over there is doing his favorite thing in the whole world to do, right? Yeah, totally. Scraping gaskets. But hey, you got to crawl before you can walk or something like that. About ready to drop the cam in it? <laughs> I don't know nothing about dropping a cam in a motor. Guess that means I gotta do it. She used wrong terminology. Huh? She used wrong terminology. That's right, it's an engine. Oh, sorry. Dang. Alright, we're putting the bump stick in the motor. I mean the camshaft in the engine. All right, it's been a long time since I've built a big block, and I'm not building this one. I did the one in the blue and white Chevy. Um, and as I'm doing it, it's occurring to me, tools I made. I made that to install the timing gear with my harmonic balancer installer. Pretty slick, huh? I think it is. Anyways, I'm going to put it on there. You expecting a lot of rain? Mm-hmm. It's all it's have done around here for you. Not today. Not today. See there? Ain't that so much nicer than beating on it with a hammer? Messing up your thrust bearing. Plus, it's a good exercise. How do you know when it's good enough? You'll feel it. Stop. You know what they say. 
you don't know what the definition of it is, but you know it when you see it. Hmm. That's what they say, huh? Or something like that. Almost there. And then I realized I had this left over from back in my engine building days when I built one engine, one big block. Still runs though. Mm -hmm. I built a few others here and there. Briggs and Stratton, Kohler, stuff like that. Lawnmowers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I have built a couple Briggs and Stratton. But other stuff too. Okay. Uh, let me turn this right so we can get timing chain gear. Alright, check out my new motor builder. <laughs> She's torquing the. What is it? Um. <laughs> it's a cam timing gear. Timing gear. Yeah, get it snug and then go to that one. Well, I don't. You said a clip? Well, just snug them first. Oh making it sound like you don't know what you're doing here I really don't don't tell them that we're trying to keep up a f I got this I know exactly what I'm doing I see that. all right now sneak up on it it's not gonna be very much it's gonna go click Bang! she I didn't go for that <laughs> easy You'll feel it. Go to that one. Snug it up. This one? Whatever. There right it goes. There. Okay. Don't do it. There it goes. See, I know what all I'm All right, doing. now check them all. Now check them all. Just be a little click. Gently. There you go. Uh huh. Oh my gosh, we got a new motor builder. <laughs> All right, let me show you something I figured out here, if I can do it. I'm gonna turn on the light. This is my timing cover I just been cleaning. Look at this. Hmm. Well, I guess you can see it now. There's a big hole there. What's up with that? I think it was uh, made, it was formed that way. It's not war, it just was a flaw in the form of it. My, now my first reaction was I can't use it, but you know, I think I can use it. It's on top. The seal will uh, seal that area up. I'm gonna run with it. Watch me live dangerously. Now this ain't no race motor. Them are just peanut port heads. And that's a real mild cam. So, so uh, don't be thinking I'm being too butch, but it's just a, just for the dually. Looking for torque, not big horsepower. All right, I don't see nothing wrong with that. If you're wondering how I got it in there, I took this piece of black walnut. That's an essential piece of black walnut. I laid it on there, and then with my good hand, I whacked it with a hammer one time, and the seal went in. So that was my trick there. That one right there is going to be a good one. That's got better heads. It's new too. But this is the one we're going to put in the dually. I got the oil pan on it, time and cover, time and chain in, cam, lifters, and I'm about to give out. So I think I'm going to call it a day. You know, I got to keep my rest. Don't want to catch that uh, virus, or whatever it is everybody's worried about. You know. I think I will paint it black anyways once I get it all together clean it up a little better paint it black I think I will maybe I'll go ahead and set the new I bought a new balancer for it because the other one had the rubber squishing out all right now I'm done I'm give out I need to put push rods in I need to put new valve seals in it I noticed one broke no use having it apart this far or not doing that I'm going to think on, I got new valve springs and keepers and all that, but I don't know if it's worth it. 
Anyway, let me study on that. Let me sleep on it. And, uh, the young man went over to his buddy's house and his mama took him there, so it's just me again. It's me again, Margaret. It reminds me of a, yeah. There's the bell. Don't forget to go to MrHeavyChevy.com where you can buy t-shirts. Uh, they'll double as toilet paper if you're out of toilet paper. Um, there's a short supply these days, so there's that. You know, if you don't want to use a whole t-shirt, you can buy a pair of shorts. And soon, there's going to be hats and other t-shirts available. Hopefully, uh, Mrs. Heavy Chevy gets that together quickly. So we can, uh, so we can hook you up with some of that. Alright, I'm shutting her down. I'm tired.